Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, remove first occurrence and uh, remove last occurrence methods of uh, DQ. Uh, to explain this, I have created this sample program. First, I will run this program, then I will explain. Uh, this is the output of uh, this sample program. Inside main method, I am creating uh, DQ and uh, adding uh, six integer objects, then displaying the DQ content. Here you can see the DQ output. And if you see the output, uh, 200 is there for uh, three times. This is first occurrence, this is second occurrence, this is the last occurrence of 200. Okay. And uh, then I am calling uh, remove first occurrence method of uh, DQ and I am passing 200. So, what this uh, method will do is it will uh, remove first occurrence of 200 from the DQ. And if it is removed, then it will return uh, true, else it will return false. Then I am uh, displaying the DQ content again. So, if you see the DQ output, the element uh, 200 has been uh, removed from the first. Okay because this is the first occurrence of 200. You can see the output here. Then I am calling uh, remove last occurrence method of uh, DQ and passing 200. So, this method will uh, remove last occurrence of uh, element uh, 200 from the DQ. If it is removed, it will return uh, true, else it will return false. So, if you see the output, uh, it returned true and the last occurrence of uh, 200 has been uh, removed from the DQ. You can see the output here. Okay. And uh, this is about uh, remove first occurrence and uh, remove last occurrence methods of DQ. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.